Hello everyone, welcome back. So in our Selenium Beta Java series, we are looking into the Selenium framework designing and running them inside the Docker containers. So in our previous session, we have seen how we can use the Docker Compose file inside the Selenium framework and how to run them by using the Docker Compose file. So we were seeing into a sequential execution of Chrome and then the Firefox browser, right? At this moment, we will be seeing how we can utilize this Docker Compose file and change my Selenium framework to, to run the test cases parallel across different browser. In the sense, if I have one test case, how can I run the same test case on my Chrome and Firefox in both of these brow browsers at the same time so that I don't need to first run it in Chrome browser and then in Firefox, which might take some time actually because um, individual test cases, think about if you have 50 test cases, which is taking a time of two hours to run. Now on the Chrome, you will be running them in two hours. Then once it is completed, you have to run it in a Firefox, which will take a four hours of your time. Now, instead of that, we can use the Docker containers for both Chrome and Firefox and run them in parallel so that it will finish within two to two and a half hours, okay? Where we are saving the time and we can give the report at the quickly compared to the sequential execution. Okay, so we will use the same Docker Compose file because as I told, couple of benefits in our previous session. So let's utilize that. Everything will remain same into the Docker Compose. Like uh, I'll just recap real quick. So we have given individual ports or a unique port to each of these containers. Okay, and after that we have run them as well into the terminal by using the Docker Compose uh, space hyphen F the file name dot YML file. Okay, so that is what we already understood that. So let me just show you that where I have run that one. So as you can see, this is the line actually, which I have used to run it. Okay, but if I run my test in XML, it will run in sequence, right? In this sense, it is currently built for the Chrome browser only. How can you see? If you go to the base test of my framework, it is default, it is running into the Chrome. If I want to run it in Firefox, I have to again create another command prompt or a terminal. I'll say mvn test space hyphen d browser equal to Firefox. Then I have to do. So on the fly, I cannot create two different uh, command prompts and run it simultaneously, right? Which is not a good practice actually. So I will be avoiding to uh, what do you call executing them from a command prompt instead of that I will be using the test ng parallelization let me just do a couple of changes and then I will explain you that so for this what I'm going to do I will copy this one the same test ng xml file so that I can reuse that so here paste it and in this I will say test ng underscore docker compose and I will say underscore parallel. Okay, I'll just type like this and okay. And here I will be copy pasting the content to save my time and then I will explain you. And this concept we have already seen in our test ng section actually. So if you go to my test ng playlist, you will get all these details uh, uh, more clearly. So here what I'm going to do, I am creating a parallel attribute. So before it was a uh, uh, if I go here, if I go here, you will see the parallel is null actually. Now at this moment, here, if you go to this, this XML, you will see it is a test actually. So it means that each test will run in parallel. So this will run one, say, uh, one container and this will run in another container actually. Now for this particular test tag, how many test cases I'm writing inside this, I want to run them in Chrome browser. And that's where the parameterization concept is coming. So you all know the test ng parameterization. The same thing, I'm taking another test tag and which will run in Firefox. Here I have disabled these two, but you can just play with these classes. How many test cases are there? Those many test cases you can mention inside this or you can even use the package concept as well instead of the test cases. 
Either way, you can use the testng XML. So my testng XML is very straightforward. The only thing that I am doing new here is that parallel equal to test means each test, not the classes here. Okay, not the classes, not the at the rate test methods. These are the test tags. I have two, right? So it means that two things will run in parallel. If you have, let's say that three classes under this test, then these two tests will run in parallel, but each class will run in sequence. First, this will run. Once it is completed, then this will run. While it is executing, this might execute. There is no problem with that. But inside this, all the classes will run in sequence. Always keep that in mind. Okay, fine. So my XML is ready. Now I have to do some changes to this, right? Because this always accepts the Chrome browser only. I'm taking it from the command prompt only. Now I don't want to use the MVN test actually here. So at this moment, let's comment this one and I will try to change a bit actually this particular, which you know already. See there I have assigned the parameterization, right? So here what I need to do, I will say parameters. I have only one value only in that. So what I'm going to do inside this, I will write here browser actually. So browser is nothing but the parameter that is there. This one actually I'm mentioning here. So that any value that, that I have assigned here will go inside this. And here I will take this as a parameter. So I will say browser name. Okay. Now here instead of browser here, I'll take string browser equal to I'll say browser name. Okay, that's it. Now the rest everything will remain same only. I don't want to change anything. So when the browser is coming as Chrome, this if condition will be executing when this browser equal to Firefox, then this will be executing. Now you can watch my previous session of how to execute in Docker. Why have I changed these things instead of driver equal to new Firefox driver? I have used a remote web driver so that it will run not on my local machine, but the Docker that is present on my local machine. That is the difference actually here. So my test case is ready. Test NG XML is ready. I have already taken this one. I have handled both of these scenarios, whether it is Firefox or Chrome. I don't care about that. Now, if I want to, I want to run in parallel. Test NG doesn't give you the synchronization actually. So for that, we have already taken the concept of uh, what do you call thread local actually, so that each instance will ro run in their own way. There is no impact of one test on another test actually. That is again one thing that you need to always keep it in mind if you are getting any issues. Fine. So my terminal is ready. All my what you call the containers are working fine. Let me show you that as well. So you, you can see it is still sticking as it is only Chrome and here it is running on Firefox. Now I have to what do you call my uh, VNC plates are also ready. So whenever I will run anything, you can visualize that inside this only. So I'm keeping these two things as side by side only. Fine. How to execute this one? Now what you can do, you can execute this in many ways actually. So you can just open my terminal. Let me clear it. Now instead of maven test and then hyphen D chrome, all those things, I don't want anything actually. I want to run maven test. But here, let me make sure that if this testng XML is pointing out to this pom.xml or not. As you can see, it is pointing to my old XML file only. At this moment, let me comment this one and then add the new XML file to pick my new XML file. So here, what I'm going to do. And these are all old concepts. I mean, old means existing. We have already learned all these things. I'm just using them for uh, whatever we have learned actually. So I will say Docker and C hyphen parallel. You have to give the exact name. Now this XML file will go to my Maven Surefire plugin into the configuration section. And here when I say Maven test, it will be picking it up from there. Enter. Now let me open my two, uh, what do you call VNC plates or the VNC viewers and see whether the test cases are running or not. Okay, as you can see, two things are running in parallel. This is my Chrome and this is my Firefox. You can see before it was running in sequence, right? Now just I have done MVN test and all the configurations, whatever I did, that thing is reflecting here. 
Now it will take bit of a here fraction of second here and there when you run in parallel. But yeah, you can see the time as well. So if you come back here, you will see both the test cases are run and you can see the output as well. So let me show you that you can see driver initiated and driver initiated. I can show you real quick one more way also to see if both of the test cases ran or not. So here you can print something like uh, you will say cap dot get browser name. You can just print like this so that it will show you currently what browser is running. So here the same thing and here I will just say that uh, tests running on you can use this concept as well so you can get the capabilities not just browser name you can get so many different capabilities you can get the system you will say cap dot get you will get a lot of different uh, what you call capabilities you can use it which will print it to your console so now let me again go back run the same test mbn test and now let's open all these two and these things Okay, so as you can see test running on Chrome here one and here also one and you see both of these things are pretty much on the same line only. This is 1252.18 and this is 21 just three three seconds only difference is coming into this but then both of these things are running in parallel. So that's the beauty of uh, Docker containers having the test engine parallelization and making it as thread local your driver object. Okay, hope this particular session is helpful. Stay tuned and do subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.